The warmest of welcomes to you. We await the conclusion of the pre-game formalities. And here we have Sampdoria against Napoli. This is Peter Drury, and next to me, providing insights, will be Jim Beglin. Well, thanks, Peter. There's a great sense of anticipation in this stadium, and I've been hit by it too. things on the way. Jim, you've played in games of this nature. Who can make the difference? Callejon, he's the one who could shine. Um, sharp and skillful and happy to ease inside and allowing the fullback to fill the space he vacates. If an opportunity arises too, he's also a very mean free kick taker. Yeah, he'll be looking for a goal or two. to do better than that he's got to work on his technique and his timing the contact wasn't right there so there wasn't much chance of success well this is how to grab a game by the scruff of its neck front foot football with real intent Kaya Hong battles to win it back Kaya Hong has got himself a free kick well, that looks like a final warning, still no card. <laughs> Fauzi Kulam. Passes it through. Well, we were unlikely to see a goal then because there were so many players crowding out that danger area. I think something very special was going to be needed. Gaviadini. Allen pumps it forwards. Brings it forward. And it's Cagliarella. Mertens looks to dink one in. Bertolacci tries to root one option. Kaya Hon tries a through ball. Chance! It's come loose. He can get that clear. It's a very good battle there, terrific to watch. Gabbiadini, Sampdoria seek a performance here which reflects rather better on the boss. He's taken a fair amount of criticism in the wake of the last game. Look, some of the scrutiny is a bit over the top these days and you're damned if you do and damned if you don't. But he really didn't help himself. His decision-making was puzzling to say the least. Now it's Gabbiadini. Manolo Gabbiadini drills one in. And he's made sure that that won't get through. Who's ball? Who's going to get there? Oh, the defence got the better of him this time, but I'm sure he'll go again. Oh. 
Kaya Hong. Mertens. He's got the ball glued to his feet. That'll be the final action of the first half. How would you review the first half? Well, the manager surely got to look for one or two creative changes now. They need some service up front. An intriguing half, lacking only in goals. The score, nil-nil. Second half gets on the way. Well, the first half didn't really produce the goals we'd have liked. Hopefully, they've been saved for the, the second. For that to be the case, though, we'll need to see more energy and invention early on. He's going to have to tune his rangefinder before the next one. Manolo Gabbiadini proving impossible to wrestle off the ball. Regardless of the outcome, it is good to see someone running at the defence like that. Tries to get it forward quickly. Ektal gets it back. Aimed long and direct. Lofted into the middle. Away from immediate danger. It's a long forward pass. Allen, great challenge. He wasn't very far from making something happen by himself. Lovely to see. Determined run, but equally determined piece of defending. Napoli look as though they're about to make a change. Played in by Kayahon. Yeah, he's offering an apology for that. He needed to deliver a better ball. Now the cross. It was all about the quality of the delivery, and they come away with nothing. If we're going to get a winner, it's got to come now. Well, the ball's come loose, and the chase is on. Spoon forward. Sabdoria have a free kick. <laughs> Gulan gets it away. And it's Llorente. Looks to slip it through. Oh, good interception. Oh, it's opened up nicely for him. A potential goal of the season contender, if only. I thought he did very well to make the most of the space down the middle. It's good intelligent play. Llorente keeps everyone guessing. And that's that. And stalemate. One, if not for fans, then perhaps for coaches. Satisfied by organisation and solidity. Little cutting edge at either end. And it finishes nil-nil. How would you sum up what we've witnessed, Jim?
Listen, I think they certainly met their match here. Uh, there was a lovely ebb and flow to the encounter, but very little to choose between the teams. And so we've ended up with a, an entertaining share of the spoils. So many thanks to Jim Beglin. That's all we have time for. Good evening to you. Tell me that you love me